Alright guys, hello, a video for those of you who have Valve Steam Deck and you'd like it to automatically boot from your SD card. See lots of people doing this manually, choosing whether to do SteamOS or boot off SD, but it's much easier if you just set it to boot from external devices. So in order to do this, shut down your Steam Deck. I'd love to show you how it's done, but my hands are full, so you'll just have to uh, do what I tell you to do. So with it shut down, with one hand, hold down the volume up button. Keep that pressed down, volume up. And with the other hand, just tap the power button. You'll hear a chime, you'll hear a sound pretty quickly, and then you know you can let go of volume up, and you'll come into here, the UEFI, the BIOS, whatever you want to call it. So with our D-pad, we'll just select the setup utility and press A. And we want the boot options. So we'll go down with our D-pad. There's boot, and we'll go right to go across. So it says add boot options. So this is position in boot order for shell network and removables. So we want removables to be checked first. So we'll press A and we've got first, last or auto. So let's do first, press A. So our shortcut to save and exit is up here. Tap that. It's saying do we want to exit saving our changes? Yes, we do. So because I have an SD card in here with Badacera on, which is a custom Linux operating system to do retro gaming, it's going to load Badacera. If you'd have a Windows install on there, it's going to load into Windows. So that's really useful. I've got an SD card there that just has Steam games on it. So if that was inside, that's not bootable. So the Steam Deck would just load off SteamOS, which is on the internal drive, and I can just play it as Valve intended. So there's Badacera loading. And there you go. So we'll leave it there, guys. Have a great day. Have a great evening, whatever you choose to do after watching this. And as always, I'll see you when I see you next. Ciao for now.